the number one most important business metric. I'm going to tell you something that you've never heard before because I just I created it myself. And it's, uh, in my mind, and I hope you'll agree, I think you will, but it's up to you, obviously. The number one most important metric in all of business. So you've heard the expression, time is money, but what does that mean? I mean, you know what it means. It means that, you know, as you spend your time, that that's what generates money and that, you know, Money can be replaced, but time can't. So time is the most scarcest resource. But how do you quantify that in business? How do you quantify that principle about time is money? That's what I'm going to explain to you today. So I'm going to give you the name of the metric, and it's pretty self-evident, but then I need to explain it uh, so that you understand uh, what I mean by it. And um, so the revenue, the number one business metric is revenue per second. And let me explain why I chose revenue per second, not revenue per minute, hour, day, month, or whatever. So we live in an efficient universe, which means that like the cream rises to the top. You have to provide value. Money is an expression of value. The first rule of money is that it flows to where it's best treated. So if you think about money per day, that's not a very efficient system. I mean, it's not bad. It's better than what most people are doing. But if you think about, like, the most uh, uh, efficient people in the world, like, they break up their time sch- their actual time schedules into five-minute increments. Like, that's how you don't waste any time. Like, if you say, oh, I'm going to do this for an hour, I'm going to do that for an hour, I mean, that's not bad, but you're going to probably wind up wasting 15, 20 minutes each hour. Uh, if you say, I'm going to do this for five minutes, I'm going to do this for five minutes, yeah, it takes a little bit more time to plan, but it shows, like, the real, it, it, the real, inte- the, the real uh, rigor of your thinking. And if you think about what is my revenue per second, so how do you get revenue per second? How do you determine that? Okay, a couple different things. First is that you have to think about not only what is my revenue per second today, but what is my revenue per second in the future. So in terms of revenue per second today, you have to look at all your different revenue sources, all your different activities, like write down, the te- keep a journal of all of the things that you do during the day. And if you have a schedule, it'll be easy. And then next to that thing, indicate how much revenue is that is that activity responsible for and then divide it by the amount of time and then you'll get the amount of revenue uh, per second so you'll see that some things are generating you know i'm just making this up you know 10 cents per second and some things are only generating one cent per second and some things are generating zero cents so you'll see that quickly that some things are generating 10 times more now i so see you have to project this out into the future because um some things, there's something called emergent principles, meaning that you can't just understand biology by chemistry because when you put chemistry together, there's certain emergent principles like consciousness. You know, you can't break down consciousness just based upon, um, uh, uh, you know, chemicals. And every layer that you go higher has more emergent pr- principles. So a lot of the business results that you get are by putting different pieces together. You can't just break everything apart into pieces and see what... Uh, each piece is worth. You have to understand what the whole is worth because the whole is worth more than some of the parts if you do it intelligently. So you have to think about your revenue per second now, but you also have to do another chart where you do, this is what my revenue is anticipated in the future per second based upon these different activities. And if you look at your revenue per second now and you project into the future by combining, that's why like I, I'm doing my, my 19th book now called Exponentials, uh, Success in the Age of Convergence because it's not just how... It's not just the, how how you have different elements. It's how the different elements that you have work together, how they converge. We're living in a world of information overload, and it's 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 the business models that are the most integrated that have the most convergence that are going to be the most successful. So there's a famous um, person, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember his name, Naval Ravikant, and he says that he doesn't return clothes if they don't fit or whatever because his his time is worth, he says, I forget what he said, but maybe, it was some high figure, maybe like 500 bucks an hour or something like that. Might have been higher, might have been lower, I don't remember, but the main point is that he says, if I think that I want to make a certain salary, then I have to break it down into how much I'm going to make per, per hour. And um, he says that, uh, you know, if, if, if I think I'm worth five, if I think I'm going to make, you know, say it's $10 million a year or whatever it is, you know, that breaks down to five uh, uh, hundred dollars an hour. 
the, the math doesn't add up because I haven't calculated it, but just, you know, the general principle. Say that you need to make $500 an hour. If you return that shirt and you get a refund for, you know, uh, 40 bucks, but it took you an hour to do it, then you're saying my time is worth only 40 bucks because I spent an hour doing it and I only got 40 bucks for it. So he says if he buys something and it's worth less than 500 bucks an hour to return it, he'll just keep it because he said his time is more important. So that's how you have to think about your business. You have to think about every activity that I'm doing. First, you have to decide what you're worth per hour and, and, and be realistic, but then have a stretch goal. What are you worth right now in terms of what people at the market is willing to pay you? What are you worth in six months? What are you worth in a year? So say, for example, right now you're worth, you know, 25 bucks an hour. That's what people are willing to pay you. Don't do anything in your business that that uh, uh, does not produce $25 an hour, either immediately or in the future. Now, you have to make investments. You have to make investments in people to build up a team. You have to make investments in yourself by learning new things because if you don't learn new things, then you'll, you'll, you won't be more profitable in the future. You won't compete. So it doesn't mean that you have to make $25 right now. But every activity that you do, if it's not contributing to you making $25 an hour uh, in the future, and it should be like you know a, a time interval that makes sense to you, then uh, just don't do it. So the most, the most important metric in business, revenue per second.